Today, we are going to be doing a science experiment for male science. So male science has like tons of science experiments and this is our very first one, so I hope it works out. It's gonna be great. This science experiment is called a tin hedgehog. So we have this zinc pellet that forms into a tin hedgehog. What's a hedgehog? This is a hedgehog. Wow, it's so cool. Can we start experimenting it now? Yes, but before we start, you know what to do. Protect, protect ourselves. <laughs> These are some glasses <laughs> to protect our eyes. I mean like a baby. Oh, don't forget your mommy and daddy. Right, dad? Yeah, that's right. Always have an adult with you. Okay, so we have chloride, sodium hydrogen, the zinc pellets that are going to turn into. What do we want to do? Well, first, we need to prepare our tin chloride solution. We need to get this um, sodium sulfate and you open it. If you're having a little trouble opening it, you just need to push it down and twist. You can see there's a little cotton mm -hmm. in it. And so Adrian's going to push it in. Be ready for so it doesn't spill. Good. Now, after that, you take this tin chloride and um, let's see, you squirt this into all of it. Yeah, all of it into here. <laughs> Put this cap on. It's and then put this red cap on and shake it. Open it. And pour it in this bottle. And yes, we're going to pour it. Half. Yeah, it's a half. So here. So we're going to pour it into the half, the uh, like halfway, halfway inside here. Mm. And then we have these zinc. Can I put them in? Um, pellets, yes, and Adrian's going to put them in. Metals in their metallic form are made of positively charged particles surrounded in a negatively charged cloud of electrons. In our experiment, tin particles would rather stay inside a cloud of electrons, but zinc particles is more likely to float on its own as a charged particle. When we put a zinc pellet in our mixed solution, the tin particles pull the electron blanket over, turning into metallic tin, and the zinc goes out into the solution. The tin particles do not just settle all over the place randomly. They prefer a certain way of sitting next to each other. This is called crystal structure. This is why tin forms elegant needles and does not cover the zinc pellet evenly. guys thank you for watching our male science experiment um male science is just such a um, good way for children to learn about like um like science and experiments please use our affiliate link below um that would help us a lot okay guys so the next experiment is called tin dendrite we need liquid soap sodium hydrogen sulfite tin chloride a red cap a little tip petri dish a battery holder, and these crocodile well, wire clips. And four AA batteries. Adria is going to open the bottle of chloride. Okay. Put it down hard. And then, after that, open the uh, bottle of sodium hydrogen and pour everything into this. Take the Petri, Petri dish and pour all of the mixture into the dish. Get the liquid soap Spread and pour everything. two drops of it into this so it will spread equally. Just two drops. Get the batteries inside the battery pack. Crocodile a clip and clip the edges. The red needs to be on the opposite side of the black. 
make sure that the liquid is touching the um, metal clips. I can already see it forming. Me too, on the, on this side I can see it. Okay, don't move, don't move. It's for, bye bye, it's forming. Okay guys, so, so you're going to see like little metal things like popping out of the black one and it's already starting. Batteries are basically electron pumps. They suck electrons in with their positive pull and pump them out with their negative pull. When such a pump is connected to a solution by wires, a variety of chemical reactions can take place. Some particles will capture the electrons that are pouring out. And by the positive electrode, some particles will give their electrons away. In our experiment, tin ion will gladly accept some electrons at the negative wire and will turn into metallic tin. Meanwhile, the positive electrode itself, which is made of iron, will give some of its electrons to the positive wire, leaving some iron ions floating around. Hey guys, thank you for watching our Mel Science experiment. Please use our affiliate link below and um, that would help us a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.